All right, boys, the objective is simple. We need to travel from here to Rowan's house, way over here. Now, do we all have the necessary equipment to continue with this operation? I have some snacks. I have bought a fire starter and a compass. Why would you need a compass when you've got a phone with a compass on? I wanted to bring a compass, bro. Okay. Those are my two friends, Rowan and Milo. You just saw us planning our massive walk from Milo's house to Rowan's house, so I thought I'd make a video about it. I like to see myself as quite responsible, especially when compared to Rowan and Milo. No offence. So, I bought my first kit. But, of course, Milo's snacks are way more important. So after years of planning, we finally set off on our grand adventure. Originally, we were just going to follow the road, but soon we found some random paths to follow, and after about an hour of random exploration, we found a woods just off the side of the road to stop and have lunch in. Ah, nothing tastes better than a homemade sandwich in the great outdoors. After that, we carried on going, until we arrived at a bridge. Hey Rowan, down me off that bridge. Yeah, alright. What? No! I knew they were going to do it with or without my help, so it would only make it more safe if I decided to help. So we dangled Milo off a bridge. It wasn't actually a very big drop from the bridge, but there was a stream below, so Milo did not want to fall. We dangled him for a very short amount of time and then pulled him up, but as we did so, Rowan yelped in pain. It turns out, as we were pulling Milo up, he scraped his middle finger on the bricks of the bridge, so he had a massive cut down his finger. Luckily, I had my first aid kit. I grabbed it out of my bag and passed Milo an antiseptic wipe thing. Then I passed him a plaster, but it wouldn't stick, so we got some medical tape and stuck it on with that. We had officially saved a life. Well, maybe not a life, but I was still proud. After that, we set off again. As we were in the middle of nowhere, we thought it wouldn't do any harm to play some music, so Milo found the best players ever. Okay, I'll stop now. It was amazing though. We were jamming along to absolute bangers, like we are never ever ever getting back together and I'm going down, I'm gathering timber. I'm so sorry. By this time, we'd been going for at least three hours, so we were very tired, but we still had to keep going. We walked and walked and walked and walked and walked and you get the idea, we had a long way to go. But finally, after a long day, we arrived at Rowan's house. It felt like we'd been going for days. In the end, the walk was over 11 miles and it took over four and a half hours. Going on this massive adventure with my friends really did bring us closer and I would recommend doing this with anyone. It was such fun and I feel like it really was an incredible day, so thank you to Rowan and Milo. Quick health and safety announcement, don't dangle your friend off a bridge. If you are still watching, I really appreciate it and I would appreciate it more if you liked and subscribed. Nah, just kidding. You'd have to comment too. Thanks for watching and bye bye.